In this video, we're going to learn how to use data table to let us investigate what happens when we change two variables. Remember, we looked at goal seek. Goal seek allows you to look at changing one variable on your outcome. Here, we're going to change two variables, and we're going to change the quantity Q and the demand D. When you're setting up a data table, you need to arrange it something like this. Across this column, I've got my quantities, and I want to check the differences between 3,600 to 4,400, increasing by 200 each time. And of course, these values can be whatever is appropriate for your particular model. My row variable, as this is called, I want to check demands ranging from 3,400 to 4,400, again, increasing by 2. At the intersection here, we need to have the variable, the objective that we're interested in. In this case, it's my profit, and I select my profit cell there so that I'm linking my data table to my profit. Now, how are we going to change these values? Well, we're going to use the data table tool. We need to start by selecting this entire range, starting from your objective function, in this case the profit, including your column variable and your row variable values, not the labels, just the values. And then we go to data, back to what if, and select data table. And we get a little dialog box there. We need to input the, the variables we're going to change, and our row input cell, this is the row, is demand. So I want to select that cell. My column is quantity, so I'll select that cell. And I'm going to click OK. And as quick as that, it calculates the profit for these combinations of demand and quantity. Now, I've added a little trick there. Uh, I like to use conditional formatting to help me see what's going on here. And conditional formatting is pretty straightforward. I don't know if you know how to do that. You just go to Home, go to Conditional Formatting, Highlight Rules. Well, first of all, you've got to select the cells you want to do that on. Conditional Formatting, Color Scales, and I'm just going to pick that one again. And it goes from smallest values over here in red to the highest values in green, kind of a logical scale. And you can see that if we buy more quantity, 36, than demand, we have a low price there because they can only sell whatever the demand is. And as they buy more than that demand, they go smaller and smaller and smaller profit. And obviously, the more the demand and the more you buy, the higher the profit's going to be. So the best solution in this case would be to, to buy 4,400 if the demand is 4,400. So that's how to use data table. And it's a very useful tool when you have two variables you want to change and see what their impact is on your objective function.